Hello Internet. I know it's been a very long time since I posted a video. Uh, let me adjust this microphone a little bit. Um, I haven't not been working. I've actually been on a really good schedule uh, for working. I've been very pleased with I Basically every weekend I, I set aside hours. I go out to a, uh, some local cafe and sit down and, and work. Um, so it's been really good. No, it's been really good. Right now, it's 12.45 a.m. It's very late. I need to go to bed, but I was like, n no. What I need to do, obviously more important than sleep, is post a video update. Let me stop shooting. So it used to be that you were dropped directly into a dungeon. I've been working a lot on this. Rather than dropping you into a dungeon, there's now like this overworld, let's call it a hub map. It's very sparse right now. I'll probably actually tighten it up, like reduce the space, just because walking from point to point is kind of obnoxious when all you want to do is go to a dungeon. But what this thing is, is that um, rather than just sticking you in a dungeon and having you go through the mechanics in order, I want to take more advantage of the of the proc gen and also just give you a little more freedom and let you approach the mechanics in the order you want. Uh, it's still going with the whole, um, what is it, I, can't, I can never remember the word. But well, here are map bits for uh, let's 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 find some other stuff uh, so I can show you some of the. Uh, it's all right. We got conveyor belts, but the Kisho Tenketsu, right? The four stages. The and I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but they introduce, the develop, the twist, and the conclusion. But we also mix up uh, as you complete each dungeon, each mechanic you will unlock that mechanic for future dungeons. So I don't actually want to go in this key dungeon right now. So that was just a little introduction, right? You had to find the key, find, it's right next door. But you know, you might look around in these adjacent rooms. Um, so the mechanic is essentially introduced to you before you enter the dungeon, right? I just had to learn the key and lock thing right here. And I hope you heard that little click. I got some sound effects from Freesound. Um, but voila, that's what that is. Uh, this room, at the bottom of each dungeon now, you're going to find a gem, and it will follow you much like that key did, uh, and then you'll deposit the gems here. And, and that stuff just isn't coded at all, so it wouldn't work even um, if I did get the gem and come back. I've also been working on the mechanics surrounding death, so now it used to be that when you died, the game was just kind of stuck. Like, it kept running, but you didn't have anyone to control anymore. They were dead. Now when you die, you turn into a fairy, and when all the wizards have turned to fairies, then you're teleported back to the surface outside this temple, and the fairies are, are wizards again. Um, and the thought there is just I, I want to let you keep playing after you know some people die, uh, but there needs to be some kind of penalty. So turn into fairies, you can't do much. You, can, you can't do anything more than you know a, another fairy player could. Uh, but anyway, so here's um, I think there's a snake level that's not demonstrated here. I should have some snakes or something, but I also am like, what do I do if you die on the overworld? I mean, I guess you'd still be sent back, but it just seems a little awkward. Um, but at the same time, there's going to be a fire, you know, fire sticks outside the fire stick dungeon, so whatever. Um, I really need to find things to put in these rooms. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to put treasure. I don't know if I'm going to put other goodies. Maybe there's little things to collect. But why would you just collect by exploring this place? Like, there's nothing. I don't know. You know, I just started kind of designing this um, overworld without really thinking much about how I'm really going to use the space, which is, again, why I say I'll probably reduce it. So you might guess that this is the dungeon that introduces the ice mechanic. And again, the advantage of having this procedurally generated thing, even though we're going to go through those four stages of introduce, develop, uh, twist, and conclusion, is since it's procedurally generated, I'm, I can also have, so I, I, you may have seen here, this room has the mechanics of conveyors and spikes. So, and I'm going to start off the game saying you can always have buttons and spikes regardless. Partly because, I, I mean, well, okay, so I, I want some mechanics that I can always mix in, and I feel like spikes are pretty universal. When you see the spikes with little bloody tips, you're going to know, hey, maybe I'd best not touch that. Buttons, I hope, are also a universal kind of concept. I mean, so are keys and locks, but I have to draw a line somewhere. I've decided semi-arbitrarily that, I mean, I think spikes is pretty set, like spikes. You know, core, you know, game mechanic. We, we'll throw in spikes anywhere. And then buttons, sure, because we need something. Honestly, that one probably could have been anything. Maybe it could have been the conveyor belts. But anyway, because we have these combination rooms, it can now say, okay, I need a room that combines, you know, we've unlocked ice, and we've unlocked conveyor belts, and we've unlocked snakes. 
So give me a thing that involves any, you know, can include any of the mechanics we've so far unlocked, as long as it definitely includes conveyor belts, because that's what this dungeon is about, and we want it to be the develop stage of, of that mechanic. Um, I'm going to need to do something, something I haven't done as a distinction, is I need some sort of what is the primary mechanic here, I think, because maybe not. I, I'll have to play with this, but what I'm worried is that if I do, like, suppose I have a conveyor and fire sticks, and I say that it's the develop stage. Is that the develop stage for fire sticks or for conveyors? Or is the room kind of tricky enough that it would always be a develop for all of the mechanics involved? You know, I, I, I really don't know how that's going to feel. It's possible only to say, no, look, this is a conveyor develop. It happens to involve, you know, some spikes or something. Um, so anyway, I, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to uh, do that. But, um, uh, you know, let me go. Well, I don't know. I kind of wanted to show off this place. I mean, a lot of it's going to change, obviously. Um, these are some ruined buildings, right? I mean, they've got broken walls and this green, I guess it's meant to be trees or something. Um, so yeah, right, it's supposed to be some ruined temple. I don't know why you're stuck here, it's not explained, but whatever, go get all the gems and you can win. I have now spoiled some gameplay conceivably. I feel like part of the game, really, you're going to be thrown into this and you're not going to know what to do. <laughs> Which I think is okay, because there's some exploration here, right? And um, Exploration in a game, I don't know, I always enjoy that. I enjoy that kind of puzzle solving, especially when it is that kind of like, what do I do in this world? You know, as long as there's things to do while you think about it and you kind of naturally stumble into them, you know, I think it's fine. I, like, I'm not ask, asking you to solve a hard puzzle like you're started outside this temple, you're going to find that room, they've got gem-shaped things, you know, you're going to come back here with a gem. I think players are going to figure it out, but I'm hoping they'll have fun doing so. Uh, so this is going to be the fire stick dungeon. These are meant to be little fire sticks. Um, and these rooms I have kind of built thinking like, what is the, like, why is there this room with fire sticks? And so it's meant to be sort of like this weird trial arena. Like there's this other room, other half that you can access that people would, I guess, be watching through that is separate from where the the participants enter up there. So I don't know. You know, I've just been, if if I can convey those sorts of things in in, in other ways, because I would like people to be like, what's you know, what's the is this room this you know like have that environmental sort of storytelling, even though, what is the story right? It's not like there's, I've imagined some culture that has built this thing. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's go into the conveyor belt dungeon. I'm a little worried it's gonna crash because I don't think I have enough conveyor belt rooms, but it'll be a fun test regardless. Um, this w I'm probably going to change this. This was initially going to be darkness as a mechanic, which I think I showed off in previous videos where like you only have this tiny circle around you. I have found in practice that that's just obnoxious. I don't think it's fun. So I'm not doing the darkness mechanic, but here's conveyor belts. Those are more fun, right? Uh, run, little wizard. Um, and uh, let's see if the uh, conveyor belt dungeon generates. Nah, it crashes. It's because there aren't enough um, rooms I've defined that uh, fulfill all the different steps of conveyor belt. You know, we have to have introduce and develop rooms and it has to be able to connect them properly with all the doors and everything else so a lot of these things aren't working but that's okay I wasn't necessarily counting on showing that off uh, partly because it's almost 1 a.m. and I really need to go to bed but again I just wanted to I mean again I've got sounds in I've got this overworld which I've been spending a lot of time developing honestly more time than I have any right to do I really need to be focusing on the mechanics and yet I I have been working some of the mechanics right we've got the key and lock stuff um, we've got the conveyor belt, which is awesome, spikes, uh, uh, spikes on ice, which we didn't get to see, but that's a thing now, so you can have slippery and spikes that didn't used to be possible, and I definitely want to make slippery stairs. Um, so, I don't know, I'm just having fun working on all this stuff, uh, and I wanted to give some sort of quick update, because again, I haven't done one in a long time, um, but I have been working on it, so I wanted to assure you, it's being worked on. Um, and, I, and I have a good schedule for working on it, which has been fantastic, it has absolutely kept me on this. Uh, more than other projects to have that sort of like, well, it's Saturday, I should go down to, I mean, there's there's a few, ca I mean, there's a Starbucks, but there's also like a Shenandoah Joe's, and some other stuff around here, um, Java Java, whatever, so I, I hit up whatever I feel like is interesting, and, and then I get some work done, and it's great, uh, so, yeah, having that schedule, that's really helpful, it, in a way, it's work, it, like, it's work in a way to where I have a schedule that makes me feel like I can have a, an obligation, which makes me do it, but it's fun. I'm having fun. It's not like I go, oh man, for a Saturday I gotta work. You know, I'm, I'm making a game. So no, I'm really happy. It's working out really well by adding. It's just the right amount of workness to it. You know. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you as always for watching. I will try to be better about posting videos, but it's hard to make promises in that regard. Um, but 
I don't know. This thing's being worked on. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm still going with this guy. Uh, unlike some other things, other projects that I know I've mentioned that have totally fallen by the wayside, and, and some others I have never mentioned, and because I was like, you know, will this go anywhere? And then after two months, it doesn't. Which seems weird to say. Is that wasted time? Yeah, I was doing new stuff. I think it was all good. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> it's been at 1 a.m. It's just too easy to ramble. My brain is everywhere. Thank you very much, and goodbye.